Recently, James has been getting me into Marvel films, which I never was into Marvel, I know, I know. But I've really gone into them recently and we just watched three Avengers, uh, something of Ultron. I forgot the name. But anyway, the point is, there's a point where the aircraft they travel in goes into like invisible mode so you can't see it. And I thought, that's so cool. I want to build an invisible house in The Sims 4. There's kind of two ways to build an invisible house. One would just be to build an underground house, which would mean it's invisible from the land. But the other idea I had was if we built a house like concealed in the forest that also has mirrors all around it. Now, I'm pretty sure James did like a mirrored build once. I vaguely remember it. It might have even been in The Sims 3. So I guess the concept's been done before at some point, but I've never actually tried this myself. Okay, I'm just gonna delete whatever is here. But I was thinking if we do it kind of in this forest area, oh, we could do it like in the treetops, an invisible treetop house. Now that would be cool. Hey, we could like build it around this tree. Well, hold on, let's see how high up walls are. Cause like if we build a box, oh, the tree's gone. <laughs> Okay, so that means we can build around the tree. If we want to build a level on top of this, we delete this underneath. Ah, oh, no, I deleted the tree because the tree's inside of it. Place the tree like this and then lift this down a little bit. Uh, cool, huh? Okay, so we could do like a mirrored. Maybe we could have like another piece that kind of goes across here. The thing is, all of these pieces need to be square. Well, actually we have to make them square because we can't build round walls in The Sims 4 anyway, but also because we need to be able to place mirrors on the outside. So it's gonna be kind of simple, but kind of cool, you know? Do you reckon we could size up this tree? How big would it be? Whoa, is this, do you think a tree could be that big? I mean, of course it could. It totally could be that, that big. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool that the tree goes the side of it like here. okay so they're kind of gonna be like futuristic tiny homes nestled in the treetops you know if these were more angular too i wonder if it'll look cooler kind of like fragments oh there hold on what's that gonna look like inside that's gonna be kind of harder to finish also do you want like the tree inside of our house or do you want like build around it like this now the problem is the stairs would give this house away. So maybe instead of having this balcony area, we have a ladder going up. Actually, I'm not sure how ladders are gonna go underneath this when it's so short. Ah, oh, it does work. So we can have like a ladder going up in the middle. If we make it black, it'll be harder to see. Okay, it's not completely foolproof, but it's probably the best we can do. Okay, so this is kind of what we've got so far. Let's see if we can put some mirrors on. And also I have no idea how my computer is gonna handle this. I feel like it's gonna cook the RAM. Actually, I don't even know what it is. Is it RAM? But the idea is if we put lots of mirrors on, ooh, you can barely see the build. We make it like, okay, not brown. Not, not that shade of brown. What about this like black color? Or like dirt colored? Or green, mm, green, green, green. This is a PRism swatch. The other kind of invisible build that we could do was like if we built into a cliff. That's the other way you could do it. It's pretty good, but I actually think these angles, which we thought would be a good idea, make it worse because the mirrors doesn't cover it all. So really, we should just keep these rectangular. Ooh. Yeah, this will be cool. It's really hard to make sure that the tree doesn't like intersect the build. It's getting all its twigs inside of it. That kind of works. It's still able to hold up the build, but it's not like interfering too much. It also really annoys me when you can't put the wall trim here until you put like a floor on top of it. But then that kind of makes the rest of the build go weird. Like this. Oh my gosh, I also just realized that there's gonna be no like windows or lights. So we'll have to put, I think, maybe the islands living like window things on the ceiling. These things, the crystal clear things. Cause I mean, I don't know how else we can put windows in without being able to reveal the house. Put a couple up here. Oh, we could probably hide like some windows around the place. 
like conceal them in between the trees. Not exactly foolproof, but it's pretty good. Like you're not gonna easily see that window. Maybe like under here. Oh, that, that gives it away for sure. I mean, what happens if we did these things? We go like this, we put mirrors on them. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not all bad. Also, I wish we could paint underneath it because that's kind of the massive giveaway, but I can't do anything about that. Although then you can see in this way there. Eh, I think we'll stick with skylight windows. I mean, these are very beautiful. I think it would be so cool having like a tree go through your house. That would be so cool. Also, I don't like how these cut in, so we're definitely getting rid of these. It was an interesting concept. It probably could have worked. We could also maybe have like glass through the floor. Maybe that'll make it feel a little more open. And so you're not just looking at dirt, you could have greenery underneath. Be quite nice underneath everything. And I would have a pathway, but we don't want to make it too obvious. I think you would learn to just kind of read the rocks maybe. Oh, also this is going to give our house away. So let's get rid of these two. Oh my gosh, look at this terrain, how it's got like pine needles in it. That's so cool. I wish we had that as a terrain paint. That's awesome. I was thinking the interior of this place should be like very natural looking, you know, these like very natural looking walls and maybe the flooring. I don't know if the flooring should be like tiled or if it should be just wood. Wood's pretty nice. Actually, this Selva, Do Selva Doradian dirt, even though it's dirt, it looks like kind of a mixed natural concrete, like polished concrete to me. So maybe we'll use this. Like this is a very natural polished concrete in my eyes. You know what lighting would be really nice in here? The rock lighting from that stuff pack that had the climbing wall. Ooh, or we could make it really bougie. Wait, no, bougie's not the right word. You guys were telling me I used the word bougie wrong. Like fancy is what I mean. That's very beautiful. Ah, uh, this is what I was thinking of. Yeah. Talk about bringing the elements into your home. We'll bring some elements, but we will also keep some other stuff in here too. So in terms of the floor plan, you climb up into this room here. And the reason why we have to put it into a smaller room is because this lets in light from the outside. So we need to close it off. Then I say we have a fancy glass door here. Actually, that would hit the wall. Maybe we have this glass door here. Or maybe we just do this one. Keep it simple. Okay, and then I don't know why I made this into a separate room. Like, I feel like this could just be one open room because it, it looks pretty cool. And then maybe this can be like a kitchen area. I don't know if we want that window there anymore either. It can be like kitchen area. And then upstairs, you go up into this little room. I have another door. And up here could be like bedroom, bathroom. Maybe this can go to the bathroom in there. I don't know what this is. <laughs> just be a pretty big room. I don't even know if they can walk around this tree. I think we need a further to the side maybe. Bedroom and bathroom. Maybe the bathroom we won't have glass flooring because then someone can look up at you while you're pooping <laughs> and hope a plane doesn't fly across either. All right, well, let's start with the kitchen area. I feel like we should make it very um, natural, but also bougie. Also, I'm going to save because I feel like this is a kind of build that might crash. Let's try and match the cabinets to the wall tones. Think if you've ever been to an Aesop store, Sometimes the Aesop stores kind of look like this. Oh, this is a, this is an island. Oh, this is the matching one. Oh, that still works. If you've ever been into an Aesop store, they really do vary, but a lot of them kind of go with this really natural earthy theme, but also very high end as well. We can do like a, a little kitchen situation. Oh, that's right. I remember this now. Hmm, this might not really fit how we want it to fit. Also kind of thinking this ladder is a little too close. What if both ladders were in this little room? You know, so you can go up one and then go up the other. And then that way we can use this full kitchen space. That makes way more sense. Okay, so we can have our built-in oven. Oh my gosh, we can even have it like in the creamy colors. I like the gray. We also need a sink like that. Maybe a gold sink. Why not? You know, in small living, it's all about the storage. So we've got to make sure we have plenty of storage in here. Ooh, I forgot about these glass wall dividers. I love these. Definitely should use these. Circle. 
guess we could do stern or something. I don't really think any of these look that good though. Oh, marble. Oh, the marble's kind of chic. Well, look, whoever lives here, I hope you like beige because there's a lot of it. I suppose we should also put a, a bin in here. I definitely think like the fun part is going to be having lots of plants in here as well because that definitely goes with the whole nature theme. The plant in there. Cool. That's our little kitchen. Now we could put like a little dining space here. I don't think we need a big dining table because clearly this person who lives here doesn't really want to be seen. So I don't feel like they're going to be having dinner parties. I'm going to do another brownstone table, I think. I love how the light shines in too and how it shows up on the walls. Looks pretty sick. <gasps> they could have swings on either side of their table. Oh my gosh, that's so magical and like treehouse-esque. Is that too much? It might be, I don't know. I feel like half of you guys will love it and the other half will be like, no. I feel like it's bad feng shui having that up there. Right here. Kind of shows off the angles of light that come into this space and all of our beige. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll add a bit of color, the green because there's not enough greenery around. And then over here is gonna be the lounge room. So I feel like we could have a fireplace. Like it'd be electric, otherwise the whole tree house may fall down. So we can do this brownstone fireplace. Maybe we'll just kind of not have as much glass flooring as we were originally having, like put it in the middle. And I don't know if a TV would be in this place. It just doesn't seem like the right place for a TV. It feels like it would really spoil the serenity or, or we could have one of those painting TVs where it looks like it's a painting, but then it turns into a TV. Yes. Now that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I really love these like stone coffee tables. I feel like this suits the, the aesthetic in here. Whatever furniture we have, it's going to be minimal. Maybe the Maishuno Sun furniture, because that do be chic. Okay, I think I did this the wrong way around. I actually think the fireplace needs to be over here. Should we do a black feature wall or just leave it all the same? Maybe a soft gray? That's pretty nice. Or jungle? Actually, that surprisingly works pretty nicely. I kind of like it, but I'm kind of not sure. Like, is it too tacky? It's kind of a bit tacky in this setting. Ooh, burnt charcoal wood. Mm hmm. Or maybe we could just go like white. I think white or black on that wall works well. Like either or, it works. I think this is also so minimal. It's like at the point of, if you guys have seen Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's house, I don't know if they still live there, but it's like super minimal. Like I don't know how they have kids in that house. You know what? That's probably like the show side of the house and they probably have like a whole other house that they actually live in. But yeah, it's like super minimal like that. Also going back to Marvel, why did Wanda lose her accent? A thick accent and then she just doesn't anymore? Does anyone know why? Okay, I just had some dinner and I was rubbing my eye and I like wiped mascara everywhere. But we're, we're back to it. This is really cute. I know a lot of you guys will be like, ew. But I think this is a really different and unique build. And I'm here for it. Like a minimal, little slice of minimal cake or something. It's really interesting. You have to put on the grid to place things on top of the glass floor. Okay, I'm loving this bed by my Shuno son. I'm loving it. Ooh, or we could do the uh, <laughs> industrial bed. Oh, the just a little bit of warmth double bed by Little Dicker. I think this is from the Sleek Slumber pack they did. Okay, I need a swatch. Give me a good swatch. This one kind of goes with the rest of the house. Ooh, I love the olive. Let's do the olive because we haven't had much of an olive time. Oh, it could be right next to this like wooden part. Now it has these very sleek matching tables. Or we could go with like the the minimal like marble tables. I think these are from bathroom. Ooh, or there's the living room or living room block table. Now I feel like this is probably the best for this place. I feel like this would be like a fun place to stay. And you could be like, I, I stayed in a hidden forest tree house. And everyone would be like, wow. Uh, oh my gosh, what if we put a tree in the bedroom? That's cool, but maybe it's a bit much. It's not really believable, because can you imagine how hard that would be to maintain? This is a nice piece from Dream Home Decorator. 
that that for us some books next to the bed should we do a rug would you want a rug over your glass floor like does that kind of defeat the purpose of the glass floor oh you can't even place it on the on the glass it's fine I really want to use these wardrobes. These wardrobes are so nice. They're by Kiarosin. They're the Calderon, Calderon dressing set. They're so pretty. Might actually build them in a little bit so it's more believable. Have this mirror there. Okay, so wardrobe, mirror. Okay, I changed it to the beige. Oh, maybe it's the wrong bed. Okay, now I feel like this is, this is more minimal. I love the other bed too though. Oh, I can't choose. Okay, we'll go back to this bed. Now this piece, this desk is from Sixum's hotel set. And I love that it's a floating desk. I mean, that is chic. <gasps> oh, this is from Snowy Escape. And oh, this is so pretty. We have to use this. We have to use this like everywhere. I totally forgot about this. It's so good. Ooh, this is very like chic. Okay, I'm gonna put another shelf next to the desk to have like a few knickknacks. I don't know, I feel like you need some pens and pencils. I feel like all of these pens and pencils need to be like black fine liners as well. Like they're too colorful. Okay, I'm putting them in the drawer. <laughs> it ruins it, it's ruining our aesthetic. Love this. Okay, and then it's the bathroom. So I'm thinking this bathroom is gorgeous. We're gonna have a shower. We're gonna definitely have a bathtub as if this tree house doesn't have the luxury of a bathtub. Just a matter of finding the right one. Something like that. I think the spa day, yeah, the spa day comes in like this color. Try the Pierism gold shower and maybe we can have some nice tiling in here. Beige. Oh my gosh, I have not seen these. So these are from the beam <gasps> kitchen. Whoa. They're like concrete tiles. They look so cool. I feel like the whole bathroom should be them. What are these? Oh, these are interesting. Damn, CC creators are getting so good. I say this every single time I use CC. Oh, no way. There's matching tiles. Stop. Oh my lord. I can't believe they did matching. They went there. I really want like a glass floor in this shower, but like then people can see up and see a hoo-ha. Ooh, speaking of beam, I just thought of something. What happens if we had like a couple of different versions? Oh, of cupboards, look at that. That one's curved. Whoa, am I getting carried away here? Okay, now I want to change the kitchen tiles to match the bathroom tiles just for continuity. Whoa, whoa. If we just make this a little darker, Oh no, that's, that's too cold. That's pretty good already. It's kind of, this place is very like brutalist. Oh, <gasps> we can use them behind the TV as well. Finally, it's all coming together. Ooh, the green's quite nice. Ooh, green in the bedroom. We can make the bathroom really dark because I feel like dark bathrooms are very calming, you know? And we're gonna have a stunning sink. So these pieces are from the brutalist bathroom pack. Oh yeah, so this is brutalist too. So no wonder. <laughs> No wonder it's looking a bit brutalist. We're using the whole bloody brutalist pack. Uh-oh, our bathtub doesn't quite fit. Slight problem. <laughs> okay, maybe the bathtub needs to go here. It's like a whole thing in the corner. I feel like our bathtub doesn't match the rest of the bathroom. Use this bathtub. I think this one works. And I love how these like sit on top. Man, Harry's good. Oh, and that's right. There's these mirrors that are made to go with this set and they like come down from the ceiling. I mean, how cool. Oh, wow. It actually sits above it. I mean, okay. Mm, very nice. Okay, maybe this lamp doesn't really fit anywhere as much as I wanted it to. I also feel like this bedroom should be kind of dark as well. Okay, so now I've done the interior. Now we've got to do the fun slash hard part, which may crash the whole computer. Um, I gotta try and put mirrors around this whole thing and hopefully it'll look kind of cool. So when we've actually built lots for The Sims, I make it sound like I do it all the time, I don't. <laughs> when we got offered to build lots in Snowy Escape, we learned why Max's builds have to have less items. And it's because the more items you have, the harder it is for the computer to run the build. So they put less items in the houses to make sure anyone playing on a lower end computer 
can play in the houses more smoothly. So mirrors are actually one of those things that uses up a lot of computer power, especially when you have a mirror on an opposite wall so they keep reflecting into each other. I can already hear my computer like gurgling and going. She's, she's working hard. Mirage is working hard. Yes, I named my computer Mirage. Don't judge me. She's fabulous. Now the only bit that's showing are like these corners. So if we hold down Alt, this is probably the best we're gonna get in terms of connecting the mirrors. And when you zoom out, it looks really bad. <laughs> but I think if we go into tab mode, with a bit of luck, it'll look kind of invisible. I'm gonna put a few more trees around to conceal it a little bit more. I mean, we could have just hidden the place behind trees. Can you see my house? Can you see anything? What about from over here? Can you see it now? What about through the trees? Can you see anything through the trees? I can't see anything at all. Wait, hold on. Is that a box? Oh my gosh, I think it's a mirrored tree house. Wow. I mean, I think this turned out pretty awesome. It kind of is hard to see if you weren't looking for it. It almost looks like a fence or something. Like this is so cool. This is definitely one of the coolest houses I've ever built. If you don't mind me seeing myself, that's so cool. So let's look inside the house. Obviously we have no ceiling paint, unfortunately. That would be great. So this is our ladder well and you go inside and whoa, this is swanky. Wow, that's really beautiful. This is really pretty. I like that it's kind of brutalist, but also very organic and natural, like not all just concrete. It's kind of man-made concrete meets mother nature and beige duplex paint. It's cool, I love that stone coffee table. I'm not sure you guys will get the vision, but I feel like I fulfilled the vision I was going for. The only thing is I could have placed these lights a bit better. Beautiful shelves here, love that. Our little kitchen corner that you look down onto the ground. We've got our gorgeous kitchen. I love the kitchen. I love the mix of these cabinets with Hey Harry's pack. I think they look really good and the tiles. I think it was tubs. Okay, well, let's go up the next ladder. Okay, then we go into here, which is our bedroom. Whoa, this is flashy. Now, I did make some changes. I did end up doing a different colored wall just because I felt like we did need a little bit of different color in here. So we added the olive kind of wood and the olive colored bed, which I think in the end makes it look better. And then we have this little office space which I love with the glass above it and below it. Oh, I kind of want to live here. And then this is our brutalist bathroom. What? This looks really cool. I love these tiles. Every time there is a wall tile made, I feel like they should definitely make a floor tile to match it. That's beautiful. So there you go, folks. Quietly concealed in the forest is our invisible build. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.